Biden administration is watching the strike closely. It's one of a number of issues weighing on the president this weekend. CBS's Natalie Brand is at the White House with more. Natalie, good evening. Good evening, Adriana. President Biden directed his acting labor secretary and also a White House advisor to engage in these talks. Sources familiar with negotiations tell CBS News they are not in Detroit currently. President Biden, who calls himself the most pro-union president in U.S. history, made his position clear. Auto companies have uh, seen record profits. But those record profits have not been shared fairly, in my view, with those workers. But the potential fallout from a prolonged strike complicates the president's re-election message centered around the economy. We're growing the economy. Though a new poll shows 70 percent of Americans believe the economy is getting worse, not better, adding to the concerns a looming government shutdown if Congress doesn't reach a budget deal by the end of the month. We're going to get this done. Nobody wins in a government shutdown. Deadline drama that comes alongside a newly launched impeachment inquiry by House Republicans into President Biden and his family's business dealings. We are following the money and we will see where that leads us. There is not a shred of evidence that President Biden committed an impeachable offense. While House investigations so far have not yielded direct evidence of wrongdoing by the president, Legal troubles are escalating for his son, Hunter Biden, indicted this week on felony gun charges. As the list of domestic issues intensifies, President Biden turns his attention next week to foreign policy. He'll travel to New York to participate in the United Nations General Assembly, and he's expected to host Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky here at the White House on Thursday. Adriana? Natalie Brandt, thank you.